Darren Chase. Darren Chase. <laughs> I definitely would recommend you follow this motherfucker on social media. Hey, give it up for the one and only man responsible for chasing the dream, my man and yours, Darren Chase. Chasing the Dream, episode 26. All right, I've been throwing a reel up or a video for a little while. I'm just going to edit a little quick thing here about what I've been up to the last couple of days. I woke up at Khalil Mack's house. Oh, good morning. Y'all here for my boy, Darius. Hey! <laughs> well, you got me there, you little shit. All right, thank you guys. I've been Derek Chase. We have an offer. Am I happy? I drink Calypso. Oh, Southern Peach Lemonade. This stuff's delicious. I can't decide what I want to do. And another fall. I'm ready to go up here at the backyard in Henderson. The next comic, a former professional wrestler, originally from Minnesota, traveled all across the country, was doing the longest running tour during the pandemic. Ladies, give it up for Mr. Darren Chase. Hey, I'm on vacation every single day because I love my. I'm smarter than you. Oh. JFK, that's a fucked up one, because they call that one the magic bullet theory, right? <laughs> a man died. Geppetto. A guy saw him for some boys, he had to make one for himself. <laughs> They're like, who's perfect? They're like, ah, oh, Tom Hanks. <laughs> like, what, was Kevin Spacey busy? Fuck <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, all right, you guys are... I cut off that vehicle, had a bumper sticker, said student driver, thank you for the patience. I thought that was really inappropriate for an ambulance. <laughs> it is first Friday in Las Vegas. I always forget about that. Man, that's what I need right there. Hanging out of the dirty at 12.30 tonight. Look at the fucking thing. It was like, dude, I already left it. We only have this. Look at this guy. Fuck you, Darren Chase. Is there any other national... By the time we leave the dirty, Khalil's asleep. So I just asked for a ride back to my car. As soon as I get to my car, Khalil texts me, hey man, sorry, dozed off. Like, no, it makes sense, man, it's four in the morning. I can't be mad about that at all. So I slept in my car, wake up and it's way too windy. I can't see the wind at all. Way too windy to ride back to his house. He even texted me this morning, hey man, I'm making breakfast. Like, that'd be nice. That would be nice. Still no word from the mechanic. Every day it's something new. Last time I saw him was Monday. He said he should be here by Wednesday. Today is Saturday. Turns out he still needs to fix his brakes and now he's not answering his phone. I haven't been in a great mood the last couple days. I'm on everyone else's schedule and it's driving me crazy. And I really don't want to spend all afternoon just sitting on a bus, I'd rather sit in my car. I was told I had an opportunity to do some window washing today. Found out last night that's not the case. I'm not saying that stuff for pity, I'm just saying where I'm at financially. This mechanic over two weeks ago told me he would not take my final dollar to do this work. 
But in all this time it's taken me, I've spent more than my final dollar. Tonight I'm at Tanaya Creek Brewing, Las Vegas, 8 p.m. I'm headlining. Have a good day.